when COVID hit the US, I wasn't thinking of painting. Like my mind wasn't at ease. I was concerned for my family. They're considered essential workers. If they would have been infected by COVID, what was the solution then? Between Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, the thing I kept on coming back to was, I wish my grandparents were still alive because I don't know how to cope with this. I had to write it down, I had to sketch it, I have to show the rest of the world what we go through. It was 10th or 11th grade, the civil rights uh, movement was just up and coming. For me, the sickening part is that it hasn't changed. I grew up in Somerville. I grew up hearing the different things that my, my family would encounter because of their skin color, because of their lack of English. I want to be able to represent the families that I grew up knowing, who had their beginning roots in our city. Music has made me blossom. I was looking for songs composed by women who, in their own way, fought for civil rights, fought for justice. With purchasing the piece, with following me as an artist, it opens up a conversation about grief, about race, about feminism. What happens when a kid from Nepal continues to do what she does, regardless of what's happening? I see that as a form of resistance in itself.